Welcome back to the credit card tutorial. In this part, I'm going to put more details on the back of the car. Okay, so let's go to the full views. I'll start by drawing a curve here. And I'm going to draw on the top plane, so activate the top plane. Right, this curve here. Switch on the control point and make sure this point is at the middle on the x coordinate, and this point should be horizontal so it or maybe vertical vertical so it blends blends the across the mirrored version mirrored half of the car and just draw that there and fix it on the right side so put on Y display and drag the points down if you hold control and ALT it, uh, it snaps on I mean it constrains horizontally or you can use the back, back view as well Okay, I'm going to draw another curve to make the surface Let's activate the back view and switch it to the back view and click on curve, draw a curve right here Okay, you can't really see it, but there's a curve that's connecting to the curve we created before. Accept that and turn on control points. Switch to switch it to other control points and put this point in the middle on the x axis. This point should be horizontally constrained. switch to the top view and this curve basically the the there's the blueprints doesn't really show it but there's a curve that looks like this you can look at some reference pictures but there's a curve that looks like that let's bring up the four views Draw your curve to make it look like this And I'm going to go create another curve right here So this curve will be attached to there and also there Switch on the right view And add a curvature Slightly downwards This is the back of the car so it's not very visible so you don't need to make it 100% correct we'll create a sweep across click on the rail click 
click on the profile and switch on shaded view this curve is need to snap on to the end here and accept that create a drop set the actually we don't need to do that just escape so just activate the top view so drop this curve onto this surface with the top plane accept that and then trim it out so that's the surface of the back um, back storage area okay there's a problem with this surface here it's slightly it's not extending down all the way down to this surface here we gotta make it go down a bit more and it's stretch far more on the top part of the surface so uh, I'll just I'll just go I'll show you what to do here so click on this curve Okay, click on this curve and go to edit bring it back like that and switch on the right view and just draw it up to there and you might want to make it slightly round bring up the four views and add a round there maybe not too much just like that and to extend that surface down we just need to extend the curve so draw another curve here and actually we have to active activate this surface so we can extend so activate the right, right plane go to curve and click on hold shift snap it onto there and draw the curve extend it all the way to the end there so about there and accept let's quickly edit that curve bring it back to the end and bring up the four views so check make sure that the line flows well so at this point we gotta change this to curvature and let's bring this line back here check the other views as well see if it looks fine looks make it look natural okay and we will make a sweep there so make accept that go to surface select the two curve here and extend okay that's the problem it's extending both ways we want it to just go this way down to do that what we just have to do is actually go create a curve on on the two on the end lines here so we have four curves defining that surface so it will that's on the back view, switch the back view so it will only define that region where we want switch on your control points and that's it so let's do, let's try that again select the four curves that we define and make sure that's on curvature and accept 
and that's that's that part there let's regenerate see if it's fine and just drop this curve onto that surface with the top plane except and trim okay one that you select the so right click hold it and pick the right surface go to trim and that should look like that and now we can move this back curve attach it to that bit of the car so bring that over attach it there let's bring up the top view yep that's it so that's our let me bring this one across So accept that. So this is what you should have. Regenerate. So that's looking pretty good. So there's one more surface for us to do for the back bit. Bring this curve here slightly forward, just about there and go to curve draw another curve onto on, onto the edge of the surface and and to the point on the corner here except that regenerate to fix that bit up and just check on the top view again just make sure that's right um, make it just about the center and also draw a curve here as well right on the end now we can create the surface see when we to create a surface we need four edges or four curves connecting it, yeah just four curves that's connected and make another curve here Okay, where is it? This one. That should be all on position. And that's it. That's the back of the car. Alright, I'm going to do one more bit. This particular surface here, it needs to attach to that curve. Uh, I'll delete this and remake it. I'll go here, make a copy of that curve. Make a copy and also move it up. Let's go to the right, the back view. Unlink it and try and move it up. All right, doesn't seem to work. So we just accept that and go move it, move as a separate step. Okay, so yes, this is, I don't know why, but sometimes it doesn't let you just drag it up. Yep, so just switch to another view and it should be fine. Drag it to the top of the line. Okay, accept that. And this curve here, attach it to this smaller curve and also attach it to the fenders of the car and just tweak, tweak the, the control point. Make it um, sort of similar to the curve on the back of the fender panel and except now if we go to create surface we can select the four curve to create that surface except that and it should look something like that 
I'll do a quick render to see where we're up to and I might just need to trim that bit so let's do a quick render okay so this is it all right we need to fix this back surface here might get more blended with that surface and trim a few parts okay so here's another rendering so most of the surface are fine just the upper surface there and we need a trim trim of a few more sections so that's that's the end of this video thanks for watching and um have a look in the next video for the next part see you later bye